my first patent was chair for aiding the conjuvenal relationships for the confirmed. I think that's how you say it, but it's a chair for having sex on. I'm Brent Farley, and I am an inventor. I look for the slightest problem that I can see and ask myself, could there really be maybe a little bit better way to actually do that? This concept here, I call it Mr. Mangy. I call it the shoulder holder. I call this thunder bubbles. I call it the hideaway hairbrush. I call it the self-hanging hammer. I call this the shoulder holder too. I call it the leverage rail system, the four in one wrench. Don't break my heart, it's a novel to get. The napper, shag walls, kick rocket, the flip rocket, the zigzag windshield wiper. So and this is what I call the wing walker. I was around 12 years old and I really enjoyed sleigh riding, but I really never liked to carry that sled back up the hill. And that's the very first time that I consciously remember coming up with what I consider to be a valid concept, sled pants. They strap on, you go up the hill, you go down, and you have nothing to carry back up. And they're sled pants. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depends how you want to look at it, I get a lot of ideas and what I do is, I'll make a note of it, I'll take and make a one drawing, and I put it in a folder, I staple it to the front, that indicates to me that this is something that I actually hope to be able to pursue sometime in life, that I think it's a valid concept, and I, this is what I call making due note of that idea. And this is a knapsack that actually protects you from the rain. What's funny is when you make something like this, is I knew when I put it together, I knew it was going to work. Then I asked myself, why, what the hell's wrong with people? Why didn't they make something like this? These are squirt, squirt gun shoes. I, I just call them that because you get your power from the feet. And all you got to do is walk. And as long as you're walking from one foot to the other, this thing will create power. It will create all the power you want. Just simply by walking. If you're driving down the road or walking, and you see me walking my little teeny dog with this great big chain, I've really pretty much had my fun with you. You pick up one of the pieces off the side, and it attaches here. And then you take this, and now, as your plant grows, you have a place to put it. Then when you get to the club that you want, it just simply, it discharges out the side of the bag. So you don't have to take it all the way out the top. I made it where it disperses out the side of the bag, put it in there, and it locks. As you see this red tape, this is sewn. It has a sewn inside there like that. So now whatever screws, bolts I put in there, they feed out to these pockets. I've had a group of people look at my concepts and say, we're going to take these three ideas, we're going to pay for the patent mark, and when the patents, the patents are going to issue, and we're sure they're going to issue, we are going to manufacture and we're going to market these three concepts for you. And that includes my inflatable shower curtain. We got our notice that the patents, all three were going to issue. And then about 10 days later, I got a notice that they went bankrupt. And they gave me three patents in my name, and I, I could never sell them. I got a nice spoon for people. There's a hammer. Thunder bubbles again. Bed and scissors for fingernail file patent. Uh, it's really kind of sad to have all these ideas and not make money. It's just like, it's just not right. <laughs> it's just not right. I've learned from my experiences that I couldn't sell you cigarettes if you were a lifetime smoker with a new set of lungs at half price. Marketing has always been my downfall. There's something about me that I am not a business person. I'd like to ask you, please do envision 25 Mack trucks pull up to a fire. They have 25 by 25 foot squares of fabric. There's a whole lot of places out there that make fire retardant material. I have nothing to do with it. But I do like to think I'm smart enough to suggest 
that if I have enough of this material on hand at a fire, I can come and build me a protective wall and or I can lay these on the ground and cover up what is about to burn. This is a penny. I'm going to lay it on my hand. Good old U.S. penny. Show you the, eff the effectiveness of the, of the blowtorch. This penny's going to melt to liquid. It's sad when you come and you shoot me here and you see what basically represents effort. A lot, a lot of effort. And then if you really look at it closely, it's a, it's a lifetime of failure. I've, uh, I've gotten close, been on TV, I've been in the news, my local news, I've been in the New York Times, Kathleen Regis, a lot of news coverage, papers, and, and I'm still sitting here. So really it's a, for me, it's a sad story. Liquid, there it is. I, I can't stop. I'm possessed by it. I know I got some good down home stuff. And it, uh, it's really interfered with my life. I'm greatly, greatly. And it's, again, like I say, it's a treasure hunt. One idea will let, give me the opportunity to live life and not work life. And that's just what I'm hoping to do.